this is Russ. I'm going to change out the handlebar stem for the Hemiway Zebra today. And what I did, uh, I've just got this on uh, a chest mount, so sorry if it's a little shaky. What I did is I purchased one of these Tri-Wonder adjustable handlebar stems. This is the same thing that I got on the Magicycle commuter bike. And um, you can change the angle of this, as you can see here. So my whole intention with the Zebra is I wanted to raise it higher. It's the same thing that I had with the commuter bike uh, from Magicycle. I felt it was a little low. So I'm going to take off the handlebar, change out the handlebar stem right here. So this will uh, essentially raise the height of the of the handlebar. Now you can just strictly buy handlebar stem uh, extenders if you wanted to, but this also changes the angle as well. So I'm just going to change it to where I feel comfortable with. And uh, yeah, we'll put it on just one side here. Let's see. You can go either way. You, you can go this way or you can go this way. Um, since the, nut, the lettering is up here, I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'm going to go this way. So I'm just going to lock this in place right now. And if I need to adjust it, I'll adjust it later. Okay, so I'm just using one of these uh, park tools. This is a five millimeter hex driver. All you have to do is take out this center piece here and it's just, it just pops right out. Let's just put it to the side there. You got to take this cap off before you can actually take this whole thing off. Um, so that's got to be loosened up. Then once you loosen this up, then of course you're going to have to readjust the, readjust the handlebar so it's, it's straight with your wheel. Um, or what you could do instead, what I think I will do, let me do this. Kind of swing around here. I'm going to take the handlebar off altogether. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Hold on for a second. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So I'm going to, oh, this one's too big. So we're going to need to go to a four millimeter. Go to a four millimeter. And let's take this one off. So there's, there's four, four screws here that you just have to loosen up and take it off all together. It's not hard. It's easy enough to do. I'm looking at the screen of the uh, GoPro to make sure you're still in frame. Sorry if you're not every now and then. Like I said, it's just on a chest mount for me. So let's just take all these off. I find that if you use these hex wrenches. It's better than the all-in-one <laughs> type hex drivers that everyone gets when they buy their bikes and stuff. It's, um, it's just easier to manipulate this than, than the other all-in-one type drivers. So I can just twist it. It's a lot faster. Yeah, they cost a little bit more, but I think on the long run, it's worth it if you do it a lot. And since I have a number of adjustments that I always have to do, <laughs> I just buy it. Now, besides the um, Park Tools, you can buy another brand called uh, Klein Tools. And um, those seem to be a little bit less expensive. All right, so I'm going to take the final bolt off here. And then this piece comes out course and then the whole handlebar comes off all right so we'll just put the handlebar to the side here okay let's get back over here um i'm gonna have to put this stuff down again hold on <laughs> there's nowhere to put anything everything goes on the floor okay so now at this point i'm gonna switch to the uh what is this this is a five millimeter switch to a five millimeter I'm just going to use this part here because it gives it a little more leverage. Take this off. Okay, the only reason you have to take the, the, this part off, um, and, and this is how you change out the whole stem if you want to change the actual vertical stem. Um, the only reason you have to take that off is because, 
you know, there's no place to put anything here, <laughs> is because this cap, this cap here is in your way to pull this out. So this has to come off just for that purpose. And now we loosen up this one back here. All right, we're gonna have to put this down on the ground as well. <laughs> there's no place to put anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this because it's probably gonna drop if I don't. Okay, there we go. So let's take this one off. Just unscrew that. Like I said, this is not a difficult thing to do. <laughs> it's actually pretty easy. And there's one on this side as well. Again, if you don't get enough leverage, you can use this part of it and get it started. There you go. It's off. So uh, I'm going to keep these parts together. Of course, it's a little greasy, so now my hands are all dirty. I'm just going to put it on here so I don't lose the part. To lose the screw. There we go. All right. <laughs> Where's my other part? Okay. So now all we got to do is put this one on here. Now, as far as whether this is straight or not, we don't know. We'll we'll find out later. <laughs> I think it's about here, but we're we're just guessing at this point. I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. But again, I can fine tune this all a little bit later. So I'm not gonna tighten 100%, I'm just gonna kind of keep it semi tight. All right, and then one more time, let's get this one, put this one back here. You gotta find a hole, where's the hole? Right there. Tighten that back up. Okay, and again, I'm, I'm just gonna loosely do it because I might have to uh, readjust these two that I just did over here. And um, well, we have to switch to a different, to a four millimeter again. Take the tops of these off. The whole point was uh, on the zebra, I kind of felt like I was leaning forward and down a little bit. So I figured the best thing was to get an adjustable one of these again. And I'll leave a link in the description of the video in case you want to do the same thing to your Hemiway zebra. They have different sizes. You, get, you, have, to measure, you have to measure the width of, of this section here and the width of your handlebars to make sure you have the exact one. I'll put the one... <laughs> I'm dropping everything. I'll put the one that I, I bought for the Zebra. So if you have a Zebra, you can use the exact same one. It is the same one as um, what I had on the uh, Magicycle commuter bike, same size. All right, so this goes over here now. This part comes over here, and again, the display screen is kind of going to get in the way a little bit, but I'm just going to go get them started, and then I'll readjust the screen so that I can get to the other bolts in the holes. And again, I'm not going to tighten down anything. I'm just going to kind of loosely get it in place. this up a little bit. The, the, the key is when you when you tighten down these four screws you want to make it even. So all right let's get back over on this side now. Let's 
Sorry for all the mess you see in the background. We got uh, Christmas gifts and things like that. We're going to eventually wrap up and stuff. So everything's just on the floor everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a mess in here. Okay, so. All right, let's see if we can. A little too tight on this side, so I'm gonna have to loosen it up a little bit. I do need to put the the handlebar relatively in position. And what I did here is I just kind of know that it's it's roughly between the two openings here. And then I have to adjust the the uh, handlebar to the angle that I want it. But let's just kind of lock it down a little bit. So what I do is I go back and forth between the the four screws and tighten it because if you over tighten one side then it becomes a problem for the other side you see this is a lot more gap so you need to try to even out the gaps the gap that's in here you gotta even that out with the other side and then eventually you will find um, you'll find the, uh, the right angles and everything for yourself. All right. <laughs> I think we're almost there. So what happens is the, the wheel tends to wanna turn on you while you're while you're making your adjustments, it just kind of flops back and forth. All right. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Believe it or not, I think we're in there. Let me just kind of give you an overview here so you can see. So now I've raised it by this much, and of course I can still angle the uh, handlebar. I, I think I will probably leave it as high up as I can. I actually like it a little bit higher, so I'm not leading forward as much. So uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> all you have to do is tighten things down, make adjustments the way you need it, and then you're all set. Yeah, it's an easy adjustment. It doesn't cost that much. The stem is inexpensive enough. I don't know what that was. Was it like $19 or something like that? Well, it's not that much. Anyways, check the description of the video. You can see what I bought. And check your sizes here. So you need to know the exact width here and the exact width of your handlebar and then order the right one that you need. You could do this for any bike. They make, you know, handlebar extender things. You can make it taller that way, but I like these adjustable ones so I can change the angles. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Oh, let's put this one more time. There you go. <laughs> Close that right back up. I'll talk to you guys next time.